When I got, I, I really ran out of books and started reading the encyclopedia. And he has a photographic memory, so he could remember everything. Let's see what happens when genius boy talks to experts in a field. Um, Let's see what happens then. You know, um, wait, sir. Seriously, a, a total rewrite. That's your that's your prediction for velocity. Yeah. Well, when you say a total rewrite, do you mean starting with the skeleton, or a bunch of engineers sit down with a whiteboard and say, "What is Twitter?" Uh, Revolutionary no, form. I, I mean, I just mean like literally, like there's there's the, like you could either try to uh, amend the, the the crazy stack that exists, or. Uh, re rewrite it. But um, when you when yeah. you say when you say crazy stack, what do you mean? Like break it down. Have you seen Have you seen George's like <laughs> diagram? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, what do you mean by uh, are you, crazy? No, no. Seriously, uh, do, do you, stack. Come uh, on, buddy. Come on. Who Who are you? What do you mean? Who am I? I don't know. You gave me the fucking mic. I got no. I didn't clue. give you the whoa, mic. Whoa, whoa. I, I, I'm I'm doing the mic, and let's let's keep it let's keep it civil in my space. I mean, yeah. Like what? No, no, man. You're in charge of the servers and the programming, whatever. Like what is the stack? Keep things technical in my space, please. Take take it take it take me from top to bottom. What does the stack look like right now? What's so crazy about it? What's so abnormal about this stack versus every other large-scale system on the planet, buddy? Come on, give Wait. it to me. All right. So first off, amazing! Yeah. Wow, Wait. you're a jackass. He has no idea what it is, so he just calls somebody a jackass. Greatest mind of our time. His brother, Kimball Musk. When Elon was was ten years old, he got tested by IBM, and he was found to have one of the highest aptitudes they'd ever seen for computer programming. Yeah, right. Genius. Doesn't even know what the hell a stack is. He's telling programmers to program it. He doesn't even know what it is. This is hilarious. Amazing. Wow, Wait. you're a jackass. At one point, I got, I, I really ran out of books and started reading the encyclopedia. So let's go to the next technical question. <laughs> what, how, what percentage have actually taken um, a step to configure? We're gonna to go to YouTube. Sorry, these these questions are so dry. <laughs> They're killing me. And he has a photographic memory, so he could remember everything. Anytime I had a question, my daughter Tosca would say, "Call Genius Boy." <laughs> We're gonna to go to YouTube. Sorry, these these questions. Are oh my God. So dry. <laughs> Is this how you talk on the quarterly earnings? Oh my god. Greatest genius of our time. Bone dry questions. On the quarterly earnings, talking to an analyst, talking to somebody who invests billions of dollars in this company. Those questions are bone dry, but he wants to talk to this genius. Galileo Russell. He goes by Galley. He's a Tesla retail investor who what crowdfunded his way onto the Tesla call usually reserved exclusively for analysts and institutional investors. All right, about that you then not only got to ask one question, you were on for 20 minutes asking questions of Elon. Yeah, uh, so the reviews of the Tesla... Here's the situation of him testing full self-driving. Now, with the software update, you can actually make thousands of people drive safer just with a software update overnight. Wow, that's actually... Yeah, that's actually healthy. <laughs> I have to say, nice save Galileo, you it saved the hit. guy's life probably. So this is the fanboy Elon Musk talked to for 20 minutes, instead of an analyst. So let's bring in some more experts. This diving specialist saved 12 kids from dying. Let's see what Elon Musk thinks of him. In Los Angeles, the entrepreneur due to face the British diving specialist he accused of being a paedophile. Vern Unsworth was among the team credited with coordinating the rescue of 12 boys trapped in a flooded cave in Thailand in 2018. Another expert that told Elon Musk he doesn't know what he's talking about, so he called him a pedophile. I, I really ran out of books and started reading the encyclopedia. And he has a photographic memory, so he could remember everything. His mother has been saying to Elon since of a kid say he was a genius. Oh, genius uh, his mother is a former <laughs> model. Don't have maps, and uh, I believe that our ed so models are known like for having the highest South intellect Africa. of us all, and YouTubers, not IT specialists, analysts, and so on. 
let's go to the next deep analysis by Mr. Musk. We asked Tesla CEO Elon Musk about one of the company's biggest controversies. New York Times did this piece that everyone in Silicon Valley got very up in arms about, saying that, you know, that the government money going to Tesla would be this, you know, huge risk of capital that would only benefit the wealthy and venture capital backers who'd put money in the company and called the Roadster basically a $109,000 concept car. What do you say to that article? Randy Spross is a huge douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> and an idiot. <laughs> okay. The Nikola Tesla of our times, ladies and gentlemen. Nikola Tesla. Stand up and clap. Stand up and clap. Here, Elon, take my money. <laughs> you know what's funny? The Tesla Roadster is still not out. It's almost 2024. There's no sign of it. It's gone, baby. It's gone. <laughs> To confuse Elon, you just ask him technical questions. He can't answer them. Or you can just act dumb. And then you can tell him, Elon, explain it to me. I don't understand it. I'm dumb. You're you're the genius. Please explain me what a stack is. Like, break it down. Have you seen, have you seen George's, like, <laughs> diagram? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like... <sighs> What do you mean by uh, are you, crazy? No, no, no seriously. Uh, do, do you, do you, come uh, on, buddy. Come on. Who, who are you? What do you mean, who am I? <laughs> I don't know. You gave me the fucking mic. I got no... Let's teach Elon how to Google for his next call. When you Google what is a Twitter stack, this is what comes up. As you see, Twitter is combining many technologies. React, MySQL, GraphQL, Rails, Scala. This is what the guys were asking him. He didn't know how to answer. The greatest genius of our time does know what his platform is built on. That is insane. He should at least know how to Google. <laughs> so what does the greatest genius of our time do all day? Uh. <laughs> ah, come on! He posted this to Twitter. He's actually gaming. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Uh, my jaw dropped, honest to God. That was embarrassing, almost died. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. I can't believe it. Alright. Vacations. Like, like I work seven days a week, but but I, I'm not expecting others to do that. Um, How many days a week did you say he worked? The amount of time he spends on Twitter and this, I don't think he works at all. Like, like I work seven days a week, but but I, I'm not expecting that others was embarrassing, to do that. Almost died. <laughs> so he's four years delayed on the Tesla Roadster, and he's sitting in here testing to gaming on Twitter. Is this the, really the best time to allocate his time? I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing games, sometimes. But this is not what I expect from somebody who is four years delayed with the Tesla Roadster. He took money for this car. I can't believe it, people paid 50k in advance for it. If I have paid money for Tesla Roadster and full self-driving, I would have lost my mind watching that. I would literally be pissed. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? Why did you even buy Twitter? So you gave Elon uh, Musk 50k ah, for the Tesla on. Roadster and then you gave him additional 12k for full self-driving and then you're sitting on Twitter scrolling and you see this pop up and you're like what the hell am I watching? <laughs> what is this? What is this guy doing? Right. I don't even run a billion dollar company and he runs like five of them and I don't even uh. play games. You know ah, what I like to on. do? I like to debunk the richest man on earth. Yes, that's what I like to do. I call him a, what it is, a moron. Like, oh my god, I feel so that bad for people who invested money <laughs> in Tesla. When this thing implode, right. these people will be in a lot of trouble. People have been taking on debt and uh. investing in Tesla. Pension systems ah, around the world have invested in this genius. And they will all go belly up. This is the hard earned money of people around the globe. People worked hard for it. They didn't promise shit they didn't <laughs> keep. Remember Hyperloop? Remember Hyperloop? It was supposed to be huge. The concept promised a revolutionary new method of transportation on par with the invention of the airplane. Forget the Hyperloop. Can't you see Elon's busy? He's hard at work, ah, working, fixing global problems. Remember Solar City? It's the houses you see around you are all solar houses. I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you, did you notice? Yeah. And then later he admitted that these solar roof tiles were not functional. What he presented was a fake product. 100% fake. It didn't exist. Can you believe that? That is insane. 
We're almost in 2024 and Marky e. Brown talks about his solar roof tiles because he's one of the few people who got it installed. Let's see how much it costs. I set up with the solar tiles, all of the materials, all of the labor, installation, everything, and the three batteries. Everything together was $120,948.04. On top of that, there's a 30,000 federal tax credit. So you get, that's the discount, right? So if you remove that, it's $120,000. And I've how long will it take year, to pay this off? Uh, would have cost about $9,660. So again, it's a lot. Comes out to just under 10 years, 9.6. So it will be paid off in 9.6 years, even with the federal tax credit of $30,000. This is exactly what the engineers said a long time ago, that it can't be done on a profit because other solutions are much cheaper. Greatest genius of our time. Increased prices, installation times that still take the better part of a week, and new competition that may beat Tesla on price and installation time. There's some all solar houses. I don't know if you know that. I, I made mean, the whole notice. video about debunking Solar City and how it was faked. But I guess he was busy fixing this company. Ah, come on. You know who Elon Musk reminds you of? This guy. I'm very excited to introduce you to Sam Bankman Fried. Why, why is Ave somehow different than email? So, um, why is it different than email? Um, you, you argued so well and so passionately yeah. to not block email with yes. licensing and KYC. I loved hearing that. Yep. That filled my soul with joy. Such yeah. good arguments. Why yeah. does that not apply to financial transactions? So, um, why does it not apply to financial transactions? Um, I think there are a few things here. So, first you know who also played video games? Hey, Sam. Um, all right, I'm going to start with a really simple yes or no question. Oh, boy. Are you playing video games right now? Oh, geez. I actually can't answer that question. Uh, <laughs> I was so confident I wasn't going to be able to answer with a simple yes or no. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Is it League? <laughs> it is not. No, it's Storybook Brawl. Okay. I had to go on YouTube and type in Storybook Brawl. And I was shocked. This is the game he played? I can't believe he was playing this. Why would you even play this? Look at this. This is like a, this is a children's game. What is the age range for this game? Let's check on Google. So I checked. It's Peggy 7. It can't be for 7 year olds. Can it? Yes, I know. I know nothing about games. It's for kids above the age of 7. This guy was playing this game. And they gave him 30 billion. A game made for 7 year olds. Seven. That's how old he is in his head. Seven. Seven years old. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Seven years old. So let's check now what games that Elon Musk play and what is the age range. I'm looking for a new video game to play. Can you give me a recommendation? Overwatch. I play Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, anything else? Fortunate for you. One. Objective unlocks in 30 seconds. Well, there's Hearthstone. I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah. I know people love it. That's what my kids play the most, is Hearthstone. Protect the wild. Your soul shall be mine! Oh my god. He's playing this? He's saying his kids are playing, but is it his kids or is it him? How can you run like seven companies, be the biggest genius of all time, and play these childish games? I'm not as old as Elon, but I would never play this. What is going on? This is the biggest genius of our time. Here's my conclusion. If you see anybody acting like a child in his 50s or 60s, be very skeptical. Very, very skeptical. If you see anybody acting in the crypto market like this, become extremely skeptical and think about leaving. I started this YouTube channel because of Jordan Peterson and my friends who love Elon Musk. Because I was so pissed of telling me that he's a genius while I have been researching Elon for 10 years. I thought he was a genius. I wanted to buy stocks in Tesla. So I started researching everything I could find. And now you're watching the results of that. I'm glad I didn't buy and I thought it was overvalued. If I would have bought, I would probably be a totally different person. There are, you have levels of understanding that make you up, but that you don't simultaneously understand. You can't articulate them. So you're a multi-leveled multi -leveled creature. And the part of you that's conscious and articulate is floating on a massive substructure that's neither conscious nor articulate. You know, that's in some sense striving to become conscious and articulate. 
but that can never be completely either of those things so it's part of the pain of being half spirit and half matter and so to gaze on the figure of the dying and resurrecting hero is to understand that a huge part of what redeems you in life from evil and from the things that terrify you is your capacity to let go of things that are outmoded and dead and to revitalize them as a consequence of new learning and it's the very soul, it's your very soul, it's the very, it's the, it's the living part of you and that's the part, the thing that's so interesting about this is according to the, to the wisdom traditions of mankind that's the part of your spirit that protects you against fear and pain you have to thank Jordan Peterson for me starting this channel because of him I started it he mentioned this, he said it was something like, you don't choose your interests, they choose you and that's really worth thinking about too man because you know, it's really hard to get interested in something you're not interested in even if you know there's a good reason for it you know, you're studying for an exam, you find the material boring you know, anything will be more interesting than, than the studying even though you know that that's what you need to do you can't voluntarily grab yourself by the scruff of the neck, let's say and shake yourself and say, sit down and concentrate your mind will just go everywhere but then if you're interested in something and even if it's something you shouldn't be interested in, because that happens all the time, then it's like you're a laser focused man. You can pay attention forever. You can work until you're exhausted. You won't even notice it. And you remember everything. It's like, okay, if you can't control your interest, what does? And man, I tell you, you can think about that for a very long time. So Jung talked about the spirit Mercurius. You know, Mercury is the winged messenger of the gods. And, and here's how he conceptualized it psychologically. He thought this is what the, the ancient people who thought about Mercury as the winged messenger of the gods were trying to state psychologically. You know, your, your interest flits around. It's like there's something that captures it and that moves your interest from place to place. You know, like if you walk into a bookstore, you'll get interested in a particular book. It's as if the book grips you. Because you don't know why you're interested in that. You might, but often you don't know why you're interested in that book. And you know, your interest is flitting around. And so that's Mercury. The thing that makes your interest flick, flicker around is Mercury, the winged messenger of the gods. And Mercury is the messenger of the gods because it's the things behind the scenes psychologically that are manipulating your attention. And for Jung, those were equivalent in some sense to the lost gods. And so for Jung, your, your interest was being manipulated behind the scenes by unseen forces that were associated with your characterological development across time that was the manifestation of the self so the self is this the, the potential you, let's say and the way it operates in the present is by gripping your interest and directing it somewhere and that's part of the instinct of self-realization it's a mind-boggling idea, man, really it's, I think it's correct, I, I can't see how it can't be correct it doesn't mean I understand it completely but it's, so it's kind of interesting that uh, Jordan Peterson thinks that Elon Musk is a great genius. So if anybody finds my channel, send this video to him and send all my videos to him. It's kind of funny, by now I haven't made one penny with this YouTube channel. <laughs> it's just a huge waste of time. I hope it works out though. You can literally watch me test out Jordan Peterson's theory that my interest grips me. It's Mercury talking through me. The year is 2023. Who do I admire? I admire the great legendary Jim Rogers. The national debt, the government debt, the international debt are all at record levels. Individual debt, household debt is also. In the past two years, household debt, family debt has gone up more even than government debt or industrial debt because everybody has been taking money out of their houses. The, 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 there's a, the new bubble is in housing.